Alright, if you want a dark mode on your website, then you might have seen these tutorials where they teach you how to put a little button here to toggle on and off dark mode, and how to use JavaScript to save a cookie and then retrieve a cookie every time they enter your website to see if they want dark mode or not. But there's a much easier way than all of that. Plus that comes with its own problems, like maybe if you use JavaScript you'll have some flash of the light mode before you load the cookie that determines if it's supposed to be dark or not. And it's just a lot of hassle when there's a much simpler way to do it, just with literally two lines of CSS. I'm not even clickbaiting you, but let me just show you how you can very easily make a dark theme on your website. And okay, I'll be honest, and I'll kind of spoil it a little bit. You don't get a button right here where you can toggle it on and off like you would before. But these days you can just see if somebody wants a dark theme just from their operating system, like modern versions of Mac OS and Windows will just get it from the operating system. You can set if you want your windows to be dark themed or not. So we don't really need to use a toggle switch anymore. We can just get it from their operating system. And let me show you how you can do that. So we have this website right here. Obviously we want to add a dark theme. So let's go down to the bottom and add a media query. So this is a new media query called prefers color scheme. And let's set it to dark. And by the way, this will work in any modern browser. It's not going to work in Internet Explorer, obviously, but it'll cover pretty much everything else. And I'm okay with having Internet Explorer see a light version of my website. And so we can go into body and change the background color here. Let's change this to shade of black. I'll say the color is white. And as you can see, we now instantly have a uh, dark theme right here. So that's pretty easy. We can change other things like the background color of this button, of course. And so that's all well and good. But as you can see, we would have to go over every single, every single different selector here that has any sort of color and manually add it to this media query which could turn into a lot if you have a lot of different things on your website, a lot of different selectors. So the way I like to do this is with CSS variables. And if you're completely in the dark about all this, I do have a video about CSS variables. So you can check that out. It'll probably be somewhere around here up in the corner. You know how YouTube is. So instead of that, let's put this up here. And we can use CSS variables with this colon root selector and let's create a variable called background color set that to let's say white by default and then text color is going to be let's say black and let's even go with a uh, primary color for the button Okay, and now what we can just do inside this media query is we can just overwrite all those CSS variables. We go into the root selector again, and we just change all of these and just put in the dark mode values. So this is a really easy way to theme your website. You don't have to keep writing the same, same numbers over and over again. So let's just change this real quick. And now we just need to replace all these with their variable names. All right, and now we instantly get a dark theme right here. And of course, we probably do want to check how the light theme looks because we want to see how people who have light mode enabled are going to see the website. We want to make sure it looks good. So we can pop up in the dev tools right here. I'm in Chrome. I don't exactly know how this works in Firefox, so bear with me, Firefox people. But it's going to be in the console right here. If you don't have the console pulled up, it's just uh, show console drawer right here. It's under all these, the rendering tab. And in the rendering tab, there's going to be uh, somewhere where you can emulate the dark mode. So let's say that they have light mode enabled, it's going to look like this. If they have dark mode enabled, it looks like this. 
And so you can just test out the different flavors of your website like this. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, this will just grab it from the operating system level. So say if you're in Mac OS and you have the settings turned on to light theme, then you'll get the light theme, of course. Otherwise, you'll get the dark mode. And actually, for me personally, I like having the dark mode by default. So maybe you're using a browser or an operating system that doesn't have this color scheme by default. I want it to be default dark. So what we can actually do is just swap these out. And then instead of dark, we're just going to say prefer color scheme light. And so it looks the same from my end, but if you come in here with no preference set, then it's just going to be dark by default. And so that's it. No JavaScript, no toggle buttons, none of all that headache. You just put in this media query and it takes care of everything else for you. To be honest, I never even use the toggles anyway. I'm not really sure why some people would want some sites dark and some sites light. So if you're one of these people who like to have some websites light and some websites dark, this might not be the method for you, but for everybody else, go crazy.